technology meant to help could actually be hurting students. Valley News Team's education reporter Veronica Marshall looks into homework help apps and how they can negatively impact learning. Having access to that doesn't give students the, what they need to learn. Tiana Harrington knows what homework helping apps can do because she's used them before. When I was in high school, I don't remember exactly how my dad did it, but he took a picture of my homework and uploaded it, figured out my entire math problem, and it gave me the correct answer and everything. That's why she says instead of helping, apps that just give students answers can actually hurt their learning. It's the same as cheating. Just being able to take a picture of the homework, click on a button, and all of a sudden they have the correct answer because at that point they're not learning anything. Homework apps are convenient. However, I just think with technology it's overtaking homework and I believe the kids need to have accountability for getting their work done and handed in and knowing how to do it. Teachers say the apps can also limit students personal growth. I know they're learning it because I'm with them all day but what I really want to teach is responsibility. The responsibility to bring in their homework, the responsibility to take care of it, to put it back in their backpack to show mom, dad, grandma, uncle, aunt, whoever's looking at it to hold the kids accountable. And that's going to teach them life lessons. So instead of turning to technology, Harrington says students should try reaching out for help. I know that's a really big thing. I even struggled with it growing up. I was always afraid to ask for help, but I feel like that needs to become a norm, asking for that help again. It only takes a few minutes sometimes and the right guidance to understand what you're doing. In Fargo, Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live. If students need homework help and no one is available in person, professional help is available online for free through programs like Tutor ND. You can find more information about that on our website, valleynewslive.com.